Hey what's up everybody, this is Speed Sharma from Speed Academy and in this video we are going to learn how to style different elements in an HTML page. Alright, so there are three ways to that we can use to accomplish this. The first one is we can directly target the elements, alright, and the second we can grab it by a class or third we can add an ID to it. So let's just open our Video Studio code and start creating a file so now let me just open up a folder first desktop tutorial okay select a folder okay so i'm gonna create a new html file name uh what i'm what we are going to learn is uh different ele styling different elements so styling elements dot html okay so guys i have created an html file over here and now we what we're gonna do is i'm gonna create a css file also so i'm gonna name it styling dot css okay i'm oh, sorry i have created a folder i guess sorry guys i have created a folder i'm going to create a css file so i'm going to write styling dot css okay now let's go so what we are, what i can do is i can just put a exclamation mark and you can see the whole code is over here this is the advantage of your id so now i'm going to title this something like uh, and same as the name of file sorry okay so now the first we're gonna learn is how to direct how to directly target an element so if you look here in our html here uh we got a body tag all right so within our body tag is where all our content lives so this is a target this is a direct element here and if i go below it i can add a header tag header element to it so let's add a header element name h1 and i'm going to write this well to speed academy sorry speed academy okay. and now let me show you an output first as you can see i have simply used an header tag over here so now one what we're going to do is we're going to target our body elements so for targeting body element i'm gonna link my css file first so link rel style sheet and the address of our html file which is uh, what we have chosen a style okay this is. so after that you just go to the our css file and write the body tag and after the body tag you can just place some curly braces and in between the curly braces you can specify a number of properties of your body tag so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do change my background color of my body so let's change our background to background color to something hashtag 4a4a 2e let's check this so first save our file and open it with live server and now you can see my background got change now let's just change our html tag html uh, header color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to target my h1 tag and i'm going to color it something what we call as uh fff the white color and I can I'm going to align this to center okay uh, now let's just see our output okay as you can see welcome to speed academy is now the center of our web page in this way you can directly target the elements so now let's move on to the second method so now we got add a class to our elements so i'm gonna create a div tag 
and specify a class to it so I'm going to specify something called rectangle you can specify any name to your class you can yes you can specify any name to your class I'm going to use a rectangle over here so after that just close it and I'm gonna for targeting your class you have to put a dot and then you you have to write your class name so I have created a class named tag rectangle so I have put a dot and now I have added a rectangle class over here so I'm gonna create a rectangle over here so I'm gonna change this width to something called five or two sorry 200 pixels and height to 100 pixels and I'm going to change the color also so I can change to something background color let's change your color to crimson okay. now let's see our output okay as you can see my color uh, I have created a div tag with width of 200 pixels and height of 100 pixels so let's just uh, place it to center so I'm gonna use the margin tag over here margin help us to specify the number of spaces from the all side as I have used my margin auto so it will auto adjust the space from all the side and put my div tag into the center as you can see in my output that now my div tag is in the center so now let's move on to our third third way of targeting so I'm uh, I'm gonna create a class over here I'm gonna create another div tag sorry another div tag and specify an ID to it so I'm gonna specify something called circle okay and now let's just go over here okay I'm right one thing over here also here. yes I'm a circle I am a circle let me show you once uh, you can see um, I'm circle is written over here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and for styling your ID to ID element you can just place the pound sign and write the ID name so I have chosen my ID name to circle so I'm writing circle over here after the pound sign and now I'm gonna create a circle so I'm going to give it height to 250 pixels width also 250 pixels and I'm going to use my border radius property over here I'm going to specify something called 50 percent so now let's see our output oh why it doesn't work here wait, wait for a second guys circle okay I have to mention the rectangle class over here also now it might work let's check it's not working now okay I'll get it wait for a second guys Oh, I am not specify any background color to it. Okay, sorry guys, it's my mistake. Uh, let me assign. Let me specify a background color to it. Okay, so background color. I'm gonna use cam. So let's check our output. Sorry guys, it's my mistake. And now you can see a circle on our web page. So I hope. So, guys, let me tell you something about the class and ID. So, a class can be used for uh, styling a group of elements. Let's just take an example of uh, buttons. Uh, if you want to style your group of uh, buttons on a web page, you can simply create a class and assign a class to your every button on a, your web page. 
so you simply have to style only once and all the buttons on your web page got styled so this is a use of your class and the IDs are generally used in generally used for JavaScript purposes and it is the it it is used very sparingly and specifically it is very unique in simple words you can say it is very unique so uh, always uh, think about think first whenever you are creating and assigning an ID to it and any elements so I hope you guys like this tutorial and I have not edited any of my mistake in this video because I want you to know that I also made mistakes so don't be afraid of making mistakes because when you make mistake you learn fast thanks guys